El señor James. How you doing, James? How you doing, bud? Doing good, man. Uh, you look a little um, nervous being on this side of the camera because you don't know what's coming or you know, <laughs> what is it? Here, what things from 2005. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's trying to figure out what You're trying to figure out what it is. Don't, don't worry about what you have from 2005, all right? Forget all of that. We can go down a very nice line mm. all the way down the road. By the way, am I interrupting your preparations for the eclipse or not? Nah? nah, that done pass. That done pass? Yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah, yeah. see, right? I, I was actually doing my practice. You post that, right? But yeah. when you post that on Twitter, mm. I was actually looking at a photo on your Tumblr with the moon as well. Oh, crazy. Yeah, no, honestly, that was it. you. My Tumblr? Yes, your Tumblr. God. Yeah, I was searching what? on his Tumblr to prepare for today. Forget about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, that is how I find something from 2005. Mm. So I was scrolling, going down, but I'm not going to get there yet. I, I want yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the nervousness to build up inside of you, wondering all throughout this interview what that <laughs> could possibly be. Yeah. No. How many times are you on this side of the camera, by the way? How many times are you on this side of the camera? I mean, well, that's my friends being weird and party. Uh huh. Never. So this, this is your first actual sitting on interview like this? In this aspect, yes. Jeez, some Bridgers. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to Cross Talk. Yeah. Yeah. How does it feel sitting down in that chair knowing that you don't have a camera with the camera's pointed on you? I ain't gonna let it feel a little more nervous than I am from a stage of people before. Like, you used to be afraid of like, looking at 5,000 people. Uh huh. And you wondering, that boy probably looking at me and these stupid shoes that I go on. <laughs> But, but we ain't staying Like we ain't, we ain't in front of camera And you saying nothing in front of Like probably like two people Uh huh It's getting a little nervous uh, So you actually get nervous Going on stage With your camera in hand mm. no. Not no Not no Probably first Couple of shows Uh huh Yeah but no is like uh, You gone clear Yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Like, like breakfast for you Yeah yeah I know he's a coffee man In the morning too, yeah, So you know coffee that. Yeah yeah, yeah. We, we watch those videos With you and the caps And <laughs> 6 o'clock in the morning Even though you're not A morning person Yeah man yeah, that, that kind of inspired some of your thoughts for today's interview yeah. as well. But I want to take you back to those days when you were nervous. What would you say the year was when you first got into the, the show side of things as a photographer? Mm. It would got to be after, like, like after you get back from New York. Mm -hmm. That was the first thing that hey, I actually went with to the U.S., but in in 2012, it, I guess it did a couple of shows, but that's before I meet Puffy and everything. But it was like more searches, and when I had SMS, more search, you see more search. When you win, uh, oh, what year you win? 20 something, boy, don't age me. 20 yeah, something, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I was there, I was there, uh -huh. and that's when I really started to do a lot of work for that stuff. But yeah. This one, the days of being pinpoint photography. Yeah. Yeah, right. Few people know about yeah, that. Yeah, you see, no, no, I tell you, I went down the research yeah. line because actually I knew about that, but I forgot mm. about it. Me too. To be honest, so was that your first outing as a photographer or was mm. it something before Pinpoint? Um, well, when I first got the, the, the point and shoot, mm -hmm. that was that for a well, while, probably like a couple months or so until people tell me, yo, you gotta get serious. Mm -hmm. And then become Pinpoint photography. And from yeah. there, everything just kind of. Yeah pushed off you mentioned that all the time before you met puffy, puffy. Yeah. yeah but we didn't even get before that when did photography start for you like what what was that passion moment for you that said hey i want to get into photography i want to be a photographer as a career um 2011 mm -hmm. so right like so let me let me start from school uh-huh <laughs> so we at school doing art as we Teacher messed up. Lost with SBS. And we didn't get grid. See, I didn't do nothing to rectify what happened. So that whole year was busy. So that all sat my whole brain from doing art. Mm -hmm. So I started doing. Ooh, it is no uh, computer sense. Mm -hmm. And then for a year after finishing school at St. Lawrence. Yes, I went to school at St. Lawrence. <laughs> um. I do some courses for another year and it just like computers like playing games mm -hmm. editing all that sort of stuff but photography was never in my mind uh -huh. at that point so 
I for that for your my um uncle come and host the evening. He always come and did drinking, talking with father and thing. You buy this camera from Kid Shepherd, uh, a Nikon L one ten. I think. I Kid Shepherd stuff cameras. That was way back. <laughs> I, I, he he was like, yeah, just buy this camera, whatever. You want to see it? It was like, yeah, yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Start taking pictures. The car, the car. When I even got one of my first pictures, me taking a picture inside the um the window. I ain't going up. Go, go up, go up. Um, ah, James Alex MC. Uh huh. So that was like my first name before Pinpoint. Uh huh. So after that, I just I used to go to the beach every evening, all the time with my friends from school, and then I just started to look at like taking pictures of sunset. Got contrast at plus one hundred. <laughs> I, it it it, it terrible. Uh, <laughs> I should probably go back for my first spawn, delete them pictures. <laughs> but that was that was yeah, like uh, a, a flash point in, like you know that that's where it start. Mm-hmm. And from then on, I was like, yo, it really like this, and then you have more shirt. So that way it really start. No problem. No, I'm happy that you mentioned the drawing, right? Because I have a photo of a drawing yeah. from you, and this photo is from 2005, I believe, based on the dates you have here. I'm gonna show you it, but I want to read the caption on it first. I can put it on the screen as well, all right? So it says, Oh my God, dog. May mean nothing to you all, <laughs> but for me, it is a reminder. Cherish the talents God gave you. My art has evolved. Maybe not through my drawings anymore, what but was through thinking? my photography. It's all connected in some way. I'm thankful for my talents. So I can show you this picture, right? I am happy that you stopped drawing. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lay that hard, dog. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, this shit ain't. I tell you hard, but but overall, nah. But wait, wait, that caption. I gotta talk to myself in past though, cause that one crazy. But, no, no, but, it's, but it's deep though. Yeah, that's why you say that's the reason yeah, why it's yeah, 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 yeah. like, All right. So the drawing is not there anymore, mm. but you're still. I like, probably still got that drawing. My mother, my mother probably got that deep down somewhere. Yeah. We ain't gonna see that one though. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna yeah, take a, a renewed yeah, photo, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. of it. But it's interesting that it, it's still a form of expression at the end of the day, your photography. And there's something yeah. else now that I can pull out of the photos as well. That's but, where the art aspect correlate. Uh huh. No. Yeah, so not it's because it's, it's still art at the end, it's just yeah. in a different form. Yeah. It's still visual and everything about yeah. it. But no, you said how I see the world is mm-hmm. so different. Mm-hmm. I try to portray it in my photos each day. Some may understand, others won't. But I hope more will understand and appreciate my art. The photo you took was a photo of sand. Mm-hmm. All right, now, my question for you then, your art obviously was an expression. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Had a carry throat there, right? Good. Your art is an expression. Your photo is an expression as well. Mm-hmm. What do you think your photography says about you? Um, it says a lot. I, I think that me as a person, in terms of my photography, I... People always expect, like, you see them at exact time all the time. Like, how you got school and classes and curriculums, certain things they got to do. But with me, I try I try not to do the same thing because I ain't did, I can't, I, I can't do a night of mm-hmm. Like, my attention span, I can't be doing I the same thing. Like, I feel for that, I feel for that. Not every day. Uh-huh. That that's why like like even like at school like if I didn't like Spanish you could even ask me what Spanish teacher I like Spanish but he realized that I wasn't like motivated towards it mm-hmm. so that was me at school if I ain't motivated towards it ain't gonna work so uh-huh. in terms of me and my photography like if I ain't cutting it for me I I can look like a weird body over here so even like before I even get to where it was like a lot of my work people technically would say. I wasn't getting to work because of that. Uh-huh. But it wasn't the rope to get money in Barbados in terms of, you know, my grandfather tell me once, man, you gotta get government jobs. <laughs> that, that did. <laughs> Photography ain't gonna help you. And I took that first thing. <laughs> but, but, like, for me, like, I always like to sit by and cool and just observe everything. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of things that I see right now that I think would be a cool picture, but, like, a normal person and be like, I don't, I don't uh, get what you saying. My, my mind kind of abstract. That's the only truth. I, I chose this location kind of for that reason. Like, I, I put down my notes. Find somewhere that makes him feel almost like where he would want to be in terms of, like I tell you, remember when yeah. sunrise or sunset? Cause I let land skits too. Yeah. That's the only truth. <laughs> See when you do your homework on people. But yeah, no. 
I want to take you know to the investment side of things. And there's another photo <clears throat> inside of here that deals with that. I tell you, I was digging Josh. So, this is when you bought a GoPro. Uh -huh. All right? No. Oh, on it, the only caption you had on this one was investment. The journey of you as a photographer. What did that investment like? Not in terms of dollars, mm -hmm. but what that investment looked like? Because obviously you started, as you mentioned, even before you were pinpoint, mm -hmm. and you're at the stage now whereby equipment, um, events, brands, people they come mm -hmm. to you. Not the equipment, you got but the equipment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get what you're saying in terms yeah. of. So what did that investment look like for you? Was it an easy journey for you back from 2005 when you first draw that day and then say, well, hey, you into photography and coming mm -hmm. forward, or was it a challenging one for you? Uh -huh. It was so hard. <laughs> I I could tell you everything. Like camera not working. Mm -hmm. I probably lose I lose my D six thing. D seventy one hundred. Wait, how you mean lose as in like lost as in can't find? It, it, nah nah, it just it just some stuff working. Uh -huh. it, 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 Chris could even tell you about this. Like cause the more money that we spend on equipment Nick could tell you <laughs> is <laughs> I could probably buy like three cars dog <laughs> honestly but I ain't there if you really believe in what you're doing mm -hmm. and that's where you might not you should invest in it door door I, I don't want first but so you got door, door 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 high fast it uh -huh. if you could do it do it I ain't there it's, it, you gotta love it too uh -huh. if I didn't love this I wouldn't be doing it dog Honestly, you could ask all my friends. Like my mind at photography, I could dive with photography. <laughs> That's the honest truth. But like, like honestly, sometimes you gotta not study money. Uh -huh. I just do it. That's the honest truth. It could make sense later on, but right now, oh my God, eat tuna and biscuits, boy. That's the honest truth. Still doing it. <laughs> Shit, I had tuna before I got here. Three <laughs> biscuits, but. It's interesting you mentioned that because I was actually going to ask you about gems and lessons that you learned and you were actually putting them into context here and now. So I want to take you sliding along now mm -hmm. to... <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I want to take you now to... I don't want to say the more glamorous side of things, but what people see a lot more. Mm. And that is now your relationship with Andre. Mm. Now, when did you guys first meet? Me in person? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, uh, no. Was there a meeting before person? Um. So you remember Ask FM? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Back in this way, yeah, blank. Yeah. Everybody was streaming mm -hmm. online. Went Twitter. It was Twitter. Yeah. The good right. Old days, yeah. So we used to be on from that whole time. I even used to be DJing sometimes. Mm -hmm. I wasn't a good DJ, <laughs> but people used to lock in and listen. Uh. And then my friend. Jamal, he's called Virus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me, yo, you should lock in for Freda. They got this DJ that's DJ that's not that hard. So I started listening to Heat Pump Freda and I was like, yo, this my hard, man, man. But the boy ain't really studying, man. Mm -hmm. And then, because Jamal knew that I was um, doing photography, I think, I think Puffy had asked on Twitter or someplace, yo, they looking for photographers. Um, hit me up, whatever. Mm -hmm. So, Whereas, tell Puffy, yo, you know he fella that's beyond on Twitter, James, he doing photography, I think you should show he. Mm. And then, Future showed me, I was like, yo, um, Puffy need a photographer to do video uh, photography if you'd be interested. I ain't seen anything they was doing um, sugar. Uh -huh, yeah, so yeah, then yeah. they need a photographer for that too, so it was like, a win-win too. I ain't seen anything, I was like, hey, hey take a picture <laughs> for Puffy? <laughs> And, and then he wasn't puffy Puffy's back then, uh -huh. but the man is so hard that I was a fan uh -huh. before who he was. No, so I was like, Shh, hey, I ain't second guess it. I been doing. I was working at Sugar and taking pictures of it for his since then. And that, I think that was in twenty thirteen September around that time. Before I started working, you AJ man boy because it used to be reggae lunch days, yeah. Sugar Thursday. Oh, you could from lunch to to Sugar Boy. Yeah. But. Good old days. Good old prices too. I would like a four dollar and a five dollar around my coat. No boy. Can't. Can't. 
Yeah, I'm going to buy a snow cone. <laughs> boy, snow cone got $5, boy. I paid $5 for snow cone the other day and I can't believe it. I mean, man, I $5 say, huh? Anyways, even that in itself has been a journey for you because you've gone from playing in sugar mm-hmm. to traveling the world. Yeah. What did, did you ever envision the ability to travel the world with your camera? Because obviously at first it was you want to do things that are different. You want your visuals to look different. Yeah. But did you tell yourself that your visuals will literally take you? What's the furthest place you ever went with your camera? With my camera? Yeah. Japan? Jesus How many flights? Two? Three? Japan's two flights. So uh, you, you, you could either go to Miami, then Elliot, then Japan, or you could go to Toronto, then Japan. And that overall is feel like. 20 hours yeah about 20 hours fair play but what what is that experience like now traveling the world and, and knowing that to uh, so many people are appreciating your visual works and I, I, I honestly I never, never would think that I would get this far in terms of even traveling because of something that I like doing because the mentality is in Barbados if you don't got it's like certain jobs mm. I, I ain't got nothing against it but you gotta like it but whole things is right now and before you either gotta be a doctor lawyer police somebody that high up in government to to get somewhere whereas with social media and everything you know you definitely know it's possible to yeah. do what you like mm. not do as you like <laughs> but do what you like <laughs> to do and again, some, some sir, like, like, you, you, you could travel to New York mm. just because the fact that you doing podcasts, you giving you opinion, you, 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 you interacting with different um, personalities and things, and that that alone could get you anywhere in the world, which is crazy. So for me, when when people tell me that they like my stuff, my pictures, and how they feel about it. I appreciate it because a lot of people don't tell me what they think of my work but I don't ask I ain't there if I know that I'm making you happy even though you don't tell me I'm I grateful for that that's the honest truth and, and as I say you're there on your net I say once I left this world and left my mark and and all my pictures here in part people in some sort of I have a good that. I ain't got no problem with that I ain't tell you hey no but can't be a work hard buddy like, yeah, 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 yeah. You're talented, you're decent job. Yeah. You're ah, yeah. <laughs> your train is there. Honestly, be like, nah. Like, one thing you know is that you can actually identify your work when you see it. Mm. Uh, you, you you know that when it comes to people who have something about them. So it's like, you would say, okay, for any time you hear Puffy voice, you know it's yeah. Puffy voice. Or you hear a particular style of playing, you say, hey, that's Puffy. Yeah. When you see a, a certain style of edit or a certain color grade or visual, you say, yo, that's Hamets. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's James there. Yeah. But, what has been probably the most memorable moment on tours for you? Something that stands out in your mind as yeah, though. I would never forget this. Whether or not it's because you bear crap happen, because you know enough crap is happening when we're traveling, right? So it could be that it was just a day that bear crap happened and somebody didn't accept one of the passports. Or a moment that is just like, yo, this was this is why I do this. Man. I don't feel you get in trouble for this. I don't feel so. <laughs> but I will say there was a certain point in time recently that I I get to meet a man uh-huh. that 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 is like one might like and I never thought I would meet this man it's between he and Messi. Uh-huh. So this man out there with Messi? Yes. Like I ain't shaking high and everything. And say me was like, ah, what the... <laughs> like, what know who this is? He's the goat. <laughs> and mom was cool and everything. Party with mine and thing. And like, you won't believe that that people in this world are normal. But it was, um... It was... I, I was like... I was like... <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, yo, 
Like between that and going to Kanye concert, uh, I know you're the big year man. I know. Yo, that I I could die happy now. You tumble for a year, Jack. Like, <laughs> you you see? It? Yeah. No, I could die happy now, dog. I I, I that's it. I good. No problem. But nah, be like, like because of what I do, mm-hmm. uh, 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 even because of uh, puffy, a lot of these things when to happen. People will say, yeah, James, because of you, Puffy is who he is. But if it wasn't for Puffy uh, and the more investment that he paying me, it won't be who he is. That is the truth. Like, it, all two of these go hand in hand. Mm-hmm. If it wasn't for our um, like mindset, we would not work together. That's, that's as simple as it is. If you do have got that, sir, like um, chemistry, mm-hmm. can't work. That is the truth. But that, that. And I hug you, man. I said, shh, dog. <laughs> hey, tell me children about this. You're getting moist in children. <laughs> Yo. My mind is so happy. <laughs> but it's cool. I do so shit, man. Look, like, yeah, you're good. Cool. Yeah. I'm about to drink him a drink. Mm. But I said, it was like, yeah, boy. <laughs> no boy can't tell me nothing. <laughs> no boy can't tell me nothing, G. Uh, as we begin to wrap things yeah. up, what probably is the best piece of advice that you've gotten on this journey whether or not it's to do just with life playing or chasing your dream in terms of the photography and then you added the videography after like what, what probably is the best piece of advice somebody's given you on this journey yeah that kind of hurt because I get a lot of hours but I feel like a lot of people ask me Things too, but you could you could only get hours based off of experience and things. But um, well, we might go on blind for now, for real, boy. Just think about it, sunset him, but just think about it. <laughs> I I can see I can see in this video ten years later. <laughs> um, all right, just go with this one. Um, invest in yourself. That's the only way you can improve. Do I invest un- unnecessarily? That's the only truth. Because I ain't there. I was using my ESM R2 for from things. I can't remember. It was it's a very long time. Uh, I was using that on 28 millimeter. I was using that for like five years. Mm. It's still working. Oh, no. And I didn't buy any lenses. Another camera, nothing so on until it stopped working and then how to get it fixed. But only upgrading and need to when you feel like you getting through like a little slower point in life. They got they got points almost every year, probably around January or or midway through year that I feel like I becoming still, I ain't doing enough. I feel like like what is that doing? I got sign got change. I just feel that all the time. I don't know if it's just the human body saying you gotta switch it up. But it's feeling in my mind all the time. I ain't gonna lie. People got like like understand depression. So not not for me necessarily in terms of like things that impact in your life externally. But because you so like like engulf and you were on tank. So I just feel like, yo, I, I feel messed up. Like, I don't feel like I'm doing enough. So I, I, I got to do something about it. And so I just don't want to shoot for a whole month. I would just got my camera there. It's only that I was working, like, this whole year mm. that I just put down my camera. I didn't even touch it when I come back home, boy. I just left it there. I ain't charging nothing. I only pick it at the day. But, but honestly, sometimes I just got to sit back, study what you want to do. You might love it, but everything will be easy. That's the honest truth. And, and your mind is the most powerful thing. If that ain't good, <laughs> that ain't gonna happen in time. Well, James, we've come to the end. Mm-hmm. It's been an absolute pleasure to have you. They did the most. I heard you talking one, 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 yeah. one, one, one stretch. Yeah. Not that you don't talk, yeah. but like, it's been nice being able to dive into the other side. Mm-hmm. Of you because every time you get it, it's a case of 
you on one side of the camera, yeah. are you putting that? You know, we yeah. doing work, like see each other social settings, but it's been yeah. nice having this chat. Thanks, Johnny, but don't worry. Next time I put you in blood pool. <laughs> Folks, that's a wrap, yeah? Until next time. And until next time. Goodbye. Cheers, bud. <laughs>